Hello, my name is Emma from the crochet blog Lulu Loves and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for these pretty crochet Peter Pan collars. Um, the full pattern for the collar is available on my blog um, lululoves.co.uk I will put all the links below. So for this pattern today I'm going to be using some DK cotton. This is paint box um, cotton. And this is the shade 433 in washed teal. You can use any DK weight yarn really. I've made these with wool yarn as well, but I do find cotton gives the best results. And a crochet hook, I'm using a four millimeter. You will also need a button for finishing, a darning needle and a pair of scissors. So let's begin. So to start with, you want to make your slip knot and we're going to be chaining five for the button loop. We will leave these unworked. Two, three, four, five. Now what you can do is put a stitch marker in the fifth chain here. Um, it just makes it a bit easier really, but you don't have to, you can just count on. Okay, I've placed my stitch marker in that fifth chain and now we're going to be chaining on in multiples of four plus one. Um, for an adult collar, I would suggest probably around 80 chains plus plus the one, um, but adjust it for the size you need. So yarn over, pull through and keep working those chains until you've got the number you need. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm going to keep going until I've got 81 chains. We're not including these five here and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, I've got my 80 chains or 81 and then my five chains here. So I'm now going to work the first round of the pattern. So I'm going to be working with UK terms. I'll try and um, put the US terminology um, as I go into a new stitch, um, but just bear that in mind. So we're going to be working the first row in half treble crochet. That's um, a US half double crochet. So we're going to be working a half treble crochet into each chain up until the marked stitch. So to start with, we're going to work two chains and that's going to count as our first half treble. So we're going to skip those first two chains, the third chain, and we're going to work our first half treble into the fourth chain. So yarn over, pull up, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert into the next chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. And just continue that all the way until you get up to that stitch marker. Yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook. Yarn over into the next chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over through all three, three loops. Okay, and it's going to start looking like that. So just keep working your way. Yarn over into the next chain. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through all three loops on your hook. So you're going to be working a half treble crochet or a US half double crochet 
in each chain along until you come to that stitch marker at the end. Don't work into the um, chain with the stitch marker. So you're just going to work up until the chain before it. So I'm going to keep doing this working my half treble crochets into each chain along and I will meet you back at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm reaching the end of my row. I am just going to work a half treble in the last two stitches here. So there's my stitch marker. So I'm working my last stitch into the one before it. Okay, so you should have, if you've started with 81, you should have 81 half treble crochets or half double crochets, including this chain two, which counts as our first. Now, we're going to go on to row two, so we're going to chain up three. One, two, three, and that's going to count as our first treble of the next row. So you're going to turn your work. Because this chain three counts as a first treble, it belongs to that first stitch there. So we're going to skip the next stitch, which is this one here. And then into the next stitch, we're going to work one treble, chain two, one treble. So that's one double crochet, two chain, one double crochet in US terms. So yarn over, insert into the stitch, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, and we're working another treble crochet or US double crochet into the same stitch. That's going to create a V stitch. So it should look like that. So we've got our first chain three that counts as our first treble. We've missed one stitch and into the next we've worked a treble, chain two, a treble. Now we're going to miss the next stitch, so this stitch here. And into the next stitch we're just going to work one treble. Well that's one double crochet. And we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way along. So we're going to skip the next stitch. And into the next stitch, we're going to work our V. So that's treble, chain two, treble. Chain two. And treble into the same stitch. Miss the next stitch one treble into the next stitch. Okay, so it should start to look like that. I'll keep going with you for a bit. So we're going to miss the next stitch and work a V stitch. So that's one treble or US double, chain two, one treble into the same stitch Skip the next stitch, one treble into the next. Make sure you're working through um, both the loops. Skip the next stitch, one treble, chain two, one treble into the same stitch. Skip the next stitch, one treble into the next. And it should 
be looking like this. So you can see you've got a V stitch separated by a standalone treble all the way along each time we're missing a stitch. So I've just worked a treble, so now I'm going to work a V stitch. So I'm skipping the next stitch, working through both those loops, treble, chain two, treble. So there we go. I'm going to keep going until I reach the end of the row and you should be, if your stitches are right, you should be working a standalone treble into the very last stitch. But I'll meet you back, I'll crochet along in this pattern and I'll meet you back towards the end. Okay, so I've worked that pattern all the way along and I'm coming to the end of the row. So I've got four stitches left. So I've just worked that standalone treble, so now I'm missing one and I'm going to work a V-stitch into the next. Now I'm going to miss this next stitch. And then the last treble will be worked into that turning chain. That can be quite hard to get into. Um, just really sort of have to push it through. <laughs> so there we go. And there's my last treble. So you've still got the missed stitch in between. Okay, so that's it for that row. Then you're going to turn your work for the next row. So again, we're going to chain up three for our first treble or US double. And that goes directly above that standalone treble. Now we're going to be working into these chain two spaces of our V stitches. So in there, in each one, we're going to work two trebles, two chains, and two trebles. So that's two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets in US terms. So yarn over, and we're working just under the chain two stitches. There's our first treble, and again, just going under it. There's our second treble, chain two, and two more into that same chain two space. One treble. And two treble. So we've still, move that, we've still got this sort of V stitch effect, but we've got two trebles either side of that chain two space now. Then you're going to miss this next treble, this one that belongs to the V stitch, and you're going to work a single treble in the single treble from below. So get through both those loops. Okay. And then we just repeat that pattern along. So we're going to work two trebles, two chains, two trebles into the next chain two space. So one treble, two treble, chain two, and two trebles back into that same space. One treble, two treble. Now we're going to work, we're going to skip this last treble and we're going to work a treble into that standalone treble from below. So there he is. You might have to turn your work a bit to see where it's going. 
Okay, and then move on to the next V stitch. So two trebles or US doubles. Chain two and two trebles back into the same space. Okay, we're going to ignore this V stitch, this treble from the V stitch, and we're working our next treble into that standalone treble. Okay, so it should start to look like that. So it's exactly the same pattern as below, but we're just working at extra stitches into our V. And we just carry on like that all the way along. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end of that third row. I've got one V stitch left and my chain three. So I'm just going to work the final few stitches here. And I'm going to work my last treble crochet, US double crochet into the top of that turning chain. And again, these turning chains can often be a little tricky to, um, to get your hook into. You should just be able to push it through there. And that's my last treble crochet of the row. Okay. So now we're going to go on to the next row. So we're going to turn our work. And we're going to work chain three. That will count as our first treble crochet, US double crochet. And the pattern is similar again. So into each of these chain two spaces, we are now going to be working three treble crochet, two chain, three treble crochet. So that's three double crochet, two chain, three double crochet in US terms. So we're just going around that chain two space. It's one, two, I'm just gonna get some more yarn. three, chain two, and then three treble crochet back into that same space. One, two, three. And just as before, we're then going to, we're going to skip these two here and we're going to work a treble crochet into the treble crochet from below. And we continue that pattern along. So three treble crochets into that chain two space. One. Two. Three. Chain two. And then three more into the same space. One, two, three. Now we're working our treble 
into the standalone treble from the row below. And we're just going to continue on working that pattern until the end of our row again. So I'll just carry on with you for a little bit. So three trebles into the next chain two space. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and then three trebles back into that same space. One, two, three, and then one treble into that standalone treble from the row, from the row below. Okay, so carry on working in that pattern until you get to the end of the row and then I will meet you back there. Okay, so I've come to the end of that last row. Um, it's the fourth row of the pattern, I think. One, two, three, four, yes. And you can, should be able to see that your collar is starting to curve. So I'm just going to work the last two stitches with you. So three trebles, one, two, three, chain two, and three more trebles back into that space, one, two, three, and then the last treble, we're going to work into the top of that turning chain. If you turn your work, you can sort of have a look at where your stitches are. There's the last stitch, and there's the turn, top of the turning chain there. If you can't get right into that stitch, sometimes it's fine just to work into that the second chain. It, if it's really tight, I've done that before, and it's not made too too much of a difference to the, um, the shape of the work. So this one's quite quite tight. I've got in there. Okay, so there's my last treble going in to the top of that turning chain. Okay, so now we're on to the final row. So we're going to turn our work. And chain three again for that first treble of the row. Okay. Now the um, chain two spaces are getting a little bit harder to see as we've worked more stitches, but we're still working into these chain two spaces. And now all we're going to do is work eight treble crochets, that's eight US double crochets into this chain two space. So one, Two, three, four, five, six. seven and eight. So what we've got there is an eight treble fan. And just like before, sorry, just like before, we're going to work one treble 
into that standalone treble. So we're going to skip these three here and just work it into this one here. Okay, and we're going to keep doing that all the way along. So in the next chain two space there, we're working our eight trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, then we're moving to the standalone treble and we're going to work one treble into that. Okay, so your pattern should look like that. So I'll just work one more with you and then I will skip ahead to the end of the row. So we're going to skip all these and work into that chain two space and we're working eight UK trebles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're moving along and working one treble in that standalone treble. Okay, so your collar should be starting to look like a collar now. Um, just carry on until the end of the row and I will meet you back. Okay, so I've come to the end of that final row. I've worked my last fan stitch in my last chain two space. And I'm just going to work my last treble into that top of that chain three turning chain we made. Just going to pop it through here for now. Okay, and we're done. So then you just need to finish off. Give that a snip. And then you can just weave in that end. So, you should have a very cute round collar. Now I'll just show you quickly what to do with the um, the button loop. So if you remember we chained five at the beginning and we put our stitch marker in so that we didn't work into them. So we'll just remove that now. And all you want to do is Turn your collar, so this is the back and this is the front, and you want to just attach that piece of thread to a needle. There we go, and you're just going to weave this into stitches 
so that you get this chain loop here like that and then you just want to knot that so that it's secure so what you're left there is a button loop and just weave in your ends um, I'll just slip mine through here for now Okay, so now you've got a ready-made button loop and if you turn your collar the right way so you can see your button loop then all you need to do is stitch on a little button there and you're ready to do it up. I'm not going to do that in the video but Um, if you want to use bigger buttons, for example, I think that would look quite nice. All you would do is make that chain five at the beginning a bit bigger so that it will stretch around your button. So for a button this size, I mean, maybe try leaving eight chains at the beginning or even ten. And that is it. So that is how to crochet your very own Peter Pan collar. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments below um, if I've missed anything or if anything's not very clear. Um, and um, let me know if there are any other tutorials you would like me to do. Um, like I said, the full pattern for this one is up on my blog. I will put the links below. There is also a printable PDF if you find that bit easier. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.